morning everyone welcome back to the vlog i will be vlogging now more often that i have a newborn so it's just a little bit easier and i want to show you guys what life is like with a newborn i just had a shower and before that i fed the baby and then my husband is sitting with him now just outside in the living room i do a really quick skin routine put on a little bit of makeup to cover freddie over here because he matches my hijab welcome to my face some of this facial essence by fresh I don't have time anymore, <laughs> but I try to do at least one nice thing to pamper myself and put some concealer. This is just a fit me one right over that big guy, a couple of spots here, and then just blend that in. That's definitely the lesson I learned last time around. I wasn't taking enough care of myself and it put me in quite a hole. So if you've just had a baby, do at least one thing for yourself every single day. It doesn't have to be huge. Like you don't even have to do makeup like I'm doing right now, but if that makes you feel good, do it. Curl my lashes. Oh, that's a little too white. Okay. I think curling your lashes makes you look instantly awake and fresh. Just go like this. See, I look more awake already. Miss Hawk is probably due for another feed again soon. He feeds about every hour or so and every two hours at night. So it's not too bad. In the first few days, it was like constant feeding. So it's cluster feeding. I was feeding him basically the whole day. Like I don't think I took him off my chest, which is fine. <laughs> and there we go, nice and fresh. Now I'm gonna try to clean up my room. So my bed's a disaster but I do try to make the bed every morning. So I'm gonna do that right now. This is where Izzy sleeps, right here next to me. You'll see that we have a, a wedge placed under his mattress, this, it vibrates as well, but we just have that elevated because he tends to actually spit up after feeds if he's uh, flat on his back. So if your baby's spitting up when you lay them flat, you can put a wedge under their mattress or if you had a different kind of bassinet, then you can lift it from the bottom. I just put it directly under the mattress, which the pediatrician said was totally fine. And we did with our last as well. So yeah, this is my messy bedroom. I'm gonna clean up real quick. He just fed. Yeah. Oh. How beautiful is he? Mashallah. I brushed his hair. I usually brush his hair when I'm nursing because I want to help him um, get over cradle cap as fast as it comes on because it does start up as you can see. He's got a little bit. But I am brushing his hair to help with that. I didn't really purchase too much uh, nursing gear until after I established breastfeeding with him because I wanted to make sure that I actually was going to be able to this time before investing so much money into the nursing related items. So after I had him from the hospital, I ordered the Jolly Jumper nursing pillow and it's this one. I'll link it below for anyone who's interested. It's really nice and comfortable. And I nurse him on both sides with this pillow. And then over top, this is something I had from Suleiman. One of my friends purchased it for us. I like to nurse uh, him with this with us like over the nursing pillow and it's just so then it has like a familiar scent so then when I swaddle him and put him in the bassinet he's more comfortable so I find that really helpful. Neyman is not so happy with staying home right now because obviously my attention is split between him and the baby and he right now like he was happy to meet uh, Ishaq at the hospital but when we came home he was like, oh my gosh, you brought this baby home. He was not so pleased with it. Basically, he's been ignoring him. Uh, every now and then he will acknowledge him and say, baby, baby Ehawk. And he'll like come and maybe kiss his forehead or something and then he'll run away. But um, we're not, I'm not really pressuring him too much. I'm letting him do things at his own time. If you have any advice for transitioning and maybe um, older siblings that are a little bit jealous or a little bit distressed, Leave them in the comments below. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this. 
Yusuf made us some coffee. <gasps> made coasters. Sorry, <laughs> that's such a me thing. I don't like for hot things to be on the counter. Yeah, okay, problem <laughs> resolved. I'm gonna make an omelet. I'm gonna try to make it really fast before he wakes up because he's probably gonna feed again. He tends to eat more often during the day, so <clears throat> I do my best to eat what I can because uh, if you're a mom, you already know, like your time is very limited and sometimes you're like torn between choosing if you wanna shower or eat or sleep or whatever. I'm not too tired this time around. Um, he is waking up at night, obviously, but uh, this time around I have more energy, so alhamdulillah, I'm not too tired. I have some uh, vegetables here. I'm gonna do pepper, tomato, and onion. It's just what I have right now. Mm. Yeah, first sip of coffee. Last time when I had my son's name man, I didn't have any caffeine at all. I didn't have coffee, didn't have tea, nothing. And this time around, I did have one cup of coffee in my pregnancy day, and I did, and I am having one cup of coffee or half, it depends on how much I drink before he wakes up again. I'm just gonna chop up some vegetables. I have a little bit of onion. I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want too much onion in this omelet. I'll use the bottom part, that's enough. And then I'll save the rest for later. I'm gonna dice them up real small. I know you're hungry. Hello. Newborns are so sleepy. Yeah, look at the little hands. They're tiny. That's the size of Bubba's trying to burp him. He's like difficult to burp. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hiccup. He sounds like a little squeeze toy. So I'm just pumping right now. He did eat for a little bit. He ate for about 10 minutes on each side. He's kind of sleepy right now. He likes to take long uh, stretches of sleep in the morning. I just tend to wake him up because I I need to empty. So I fed him for 20 minutes. And since I still have a little bit of milk, I'm gonna pump. This is the Spectra. It's on right now, so I just want you guys to hear it. Love this pump. Um, if you guys wanna learn more about it, I'll put the link in the description. This is not sponsored. I used this pump for over a year breastfeeding with my first and now I'm using it again with my second. It's that good of a pump. So this is what I got after I fed him. So that's almost five ounces total or more. And my goal is not to exclusively exclusively breastfeed though he will be getting breast milk. I do plan on giving him a bottle of pumped milk every day or at least once in a while just to kind of uh, make it a little bit easier, especially once when a man's at home. So these are going into the fridge and I pumped them today, so they're good to go. I'm still taking my prenatal and I highly recommend that if you're postpartum, you continue to take your prenatals, especially while breastfeeding. And even if you're not, you're going through a lot of blood loss, it's important to stay on top of that. And also postpartum, I like to start taking biotin again. This is for my hair, skin and nails, and mainly hair because uh, postpartum, you tend to lose a lot of hair. All right, so I got all these beautiful flowers from my friends and family, and they're gorgeous. I'm just going to uh, empty out the water and put some fresh water for them and compress them into smaller uh, arrangements. to show people that I appreciate what they give me and so I keep them alive as long as I can. Doing laundry has been the greatest challenge for me postpartum. So what I do is I put this stool that's from my living room or ottoman or whatever you wanna call it. And then I can sit down like this. <laughs> that's my solution. And then I can do laundry. <laughs> Look at the sweet face. 
my favorite thing are his eyelashes. Just like Suleiman. Suleiman even has longer and thicker lashes now than he did before. I've got to show you guys. Yeah. yeah. Hey, baby boy. So after he feeds, yeah, I have some laundry there that I have to fold. I will get to that. But after he feeds, I like to change his diaper so he's nice and fresh before the next feed. Yeah. Typically has a change of diaper every two hours, roughly. It depends how long he feeds for. Oh yeah, you fell asleep. I have to change you though. Look at the stretching. Oh, I love it. The construction is so loud outside. It's just like right over there they're putting up two new condos so city life i'm just preparing dinner right now i'm making hawaushi i've shown this in a previous video is hawk is starting to wake up again i fed him and then he slept i fed him for about almost an hour he was feeding pretty well and he likes to have long feeds in the late afternoon i'm just trying to make um quick dinner because we don't have a large enough freezer for uh, freezer meals so this is a really good meal if you're postpartum and you don't have uh, if, if you're in the same position as me you don't have freezer meals because maybe you didn't have space or you didn't get a chance to prepare them it's really easy to make and I'll link the video that has this recipe down uh, in my description box for anyone who wants to uh, follow along and I go feed him this is basically how my day goes like Every little while, he'll wake up, and I'm like, okay, time to feed you. All right, <laughs> stop what you're doing, go feed the baby. Like, right now. Oh, are you ready to eat? So this is real life. I'm stuck nursing, and he's with our toddler and frying the habaoshi. Thank you, Yusuf. Yeah. That's real life. Like, I can't get up and fry right now because I'm stuck feeding the baby. Hey, man, you don't want to eat? He's on the phone. She here. Yeah, you talking to your aunt? Thank you, Baba. Got a food there. I'm gonna make a salad. I buy salad kits now just to make life a little bit easier. We have our salad, our welshi. Time to eat. Our flowers. Yeah, Yay. I love you. Let's eat. Nice big hug. What are you doing, today, man? You trying to give her a hug? Is that Suki? Suki's like, get me out of here. I will Clean Good up. job. Are you cleaning up? up? Everybody, everywhere, clean. <laughs> if you clean up, you get a cookie. Yeah. Oh, Baba's gonna give you a cookie. Okay. Uh oh, gonna, spaghetti, oh, sorry, man. Gonna, this I'm is a new thing you've changed the phone. doesn't get a cookie. <laughs> Monster voice. In our room because the light bulb went off. But I'm going to do all this laundry. This hawk is just sleeping over here. He was breastfeeding for quite a few hours he's cluster feeding so on and off so i basically just scarf my dinner down as fast as i could i still have to go wash the dishes by the sink so i'm going to quickly do the laundry as fast as i can i already put the sheets back onto my toddler's bed and then i just have to put the sheet back onto the bassinet here so all the sheets in the house are clean i'm going to do the laundry i'm going to go wash the dishes and then hopefully have a chance to sit down again are done at least for now i'm gonna probably vacuum tomorrow morning when it's uh more bright because i can't really see too much maybe i'll just do a quick vacuum now uh yusuf is doing the bedtime routine for today men just so then i could get things done but everything's all tidy this little guy's right here he's probably gonna wake up soon for his next feeding yeah probably soon and then uh i've got some nice flowers there everything's nice I'm gonna let a candle. I love the Bath and Body Works candles. I know they're not the best for you, but they smell so good. This one is 
white caramel cold brew. It smells so, so good. So with that, I think I'll end the vlog here, even though obviously my night continues deep into the night with feedings and all that stuff. But if you like these types of videos, please hit up the like, subscribe for more content to join the family. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and leave me a comment below if you want to see more like this. That's real life. My toddler is throwing a tantrum in the bathtub. If you want to see a specific types of videos, let me know in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.